Hello, everyone. We're going to get started on our tech talk today. It's Master 3D Solid Turning Tools and NX Cam. Our presenter today is Yahia. He has over six years' experience in aerospace manufacturing industries, specifically on CAM programming and CNC machining. Throughout his career, he has worked as a CNC machinist, a CAM programmer, and a manufacturing engineer. Now, at, he's currently working at ProLim as an NX CAM application engineer, and he's located in our Cincinnati office. Now, um, we will take questions um, either live um, or through the uh, chat. So those will be done at the end. And then also, um, we'll go ahead and have Yahia start the Tech Talk today. Good morning and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Tech Talk. Today we are diving into a topic that is often overlooked but incredibly powerful. How to create 3D solid turning tools in NXCAM. If you have ever struggled with tool definition, simulation accuracy or just wanted your turning tools to look and behave exactly like what's on your machine, then this session is for you. So we'll go step by step through the process so let's go ahead and take a look at annex so i do have a part opened up in my annex i have a 3d model of a, a turning tool here i've got it downloaded from the vendor's website so before we start the process um, we need to download a resource um, best practice documentation and the template file from the post up so when you log into your poster, you'll probably have these cousin credentials at your uh, like admin department or maybe uh, from your IT. Um, basically, these are the uh, Siemens credentials that you need to you know put on, and then you will get access to the poster. Inside the support resources, we have a bunch of other options here available here. So under the best practices, you will find the best practices for turning tool creation. You can download this. And I already got it downloaded and I'll show you what this file contains. This comes with the documentation and two template files. So this one template file, what you see over here is for creating a, a solid assembly for turning tool. And the other one is for the uh, regular parametric turning tool. And inside the documentation, you will also have a, a PDF which go through all these steps and uh, a video also available to you to, you know, refer it at any time. So since we have this file downloaded, let's go ahead and start the process of creating a solid turning tool. So the first and mo most important thing what we have to do is every time when we get a, a file from our vendors, obviously those two those files are not orientated like what we how we need. But if you're creating your uh, 3D model uh, by yourself in your company, so I would recommend always create in this orientation like what I'm going to show you right now. So we need to make sure that when we look at the uh, z-axis in a xy plane, so our holder, our holders and face, this face over here, should always point towards the x direction, which is in this direction. So we need to rotate this uh, entire holder. So let's do that. And I have to rotate the holder 90 degrees towards the left side to match my spindle face towards the x-axis. And I think I also need to rotate my uh, rotate my holder along the z-axis so that it points out to the the face of the insert points out to the z-axis. So let's do our first step. Let's rotate this to the 90 degrees. And we also have to rotate the holder around the y-axis so that the insert face looks at the z-axis in this uh, orientation. 
so once we have that in place we can go ahead and specify our work coordinate system right in the center of our cutting edge right here and as you can see for this specific holder what I have here as an example this insert seats in a inclined position in the holder so if you have a straight holder not as that not as inclined as what you see over here you don't need to follow this step what we're gonna do but this is just for a a, a reference if you have any inclined uh, inserts that is sitting onto the holder you need to align the z-axis according to the uh, face of your insert so once we have aligned our WCS now we need to create another crucial step here uh, we need to create a an outline towards uh, the center of our holder to work it as a collision detection inside our cam environment so we'll create a an outline over here from the center so I'm gonna select my plane as my insert face as my plane over here and we can so since as I said since my insert uh, since my holder is inclined over here we can try to try to orient the WCS so that we'll get exactly the spun outline in the center of our holder so let's move the offset little further and see which option would be suitable for this I think this looks good so we can create a section curve and we'll save it in a different layer and once we have done that we can create a copy for the section curves and click OK to this and now you will be able to see your section curve in, a, in your layer 3 so this has to be created and it's very important like I said it will act as a collision uh, spurn outline when you are simulating this holder inside your cam environment so once we have that in place let's go to the manufacturing environment right inside this file over here so once we are in the manufacturing environment let's go ahead and create a tool and inside the creation uh, tool dialog box under the type drop down we have to browse for the file that we have downloaded from the post hub so as we saw we have two different files here we'll go ahead and select the create assembly turn tool standard and we'll start by defining the insert it uh, depends upon you know what type of insert that you use so you need to specify those um, insert parameters over here for now I'm gonna select the DNMG the D-shaped insert so let me specify some parameters over here I already have some parameters from the tool vendors website that I got it so I'll enter that here and my measurement would be the inscribed circle and it's 12.25 and the relief angle is 0 and the thickness code is 06 let's hide our dummy ISO insert over here and see if, how does it looks like okay so the parameters look looks good over here so let's go to our setup node and see what what are the options that we need to specify here so the mounting tip the mounting tip should be 
the face where your spindle gets clamped so it's right over here so this curve of the spindle alignment face and the tool tip is the one that you have specified your WCS so this looks good and now we have to select our cutting portion so we should select our insert that we have with the model that should be our cutting portion here and in the compensation node you can specify various p values and their offsets if you want you can also uh, predefine this and save it to the library with the uh, holder and the insert and inside the control node you can also predefine the tools and the holder numbers and also you can specify some of those limits and then we can go ahead and export export this to our library and say turning tool 3d and let's go ahead and export it to the library we have to select the classes and the holding system so once we have our turning tool created we can we can go ahead and check inside our setup file the sample setup file what we have over here and let's see how does it looks like So what I'm going to do here is I'll create a new tool and I'll retrieve the tool that we have created from the library. So let's search for the name and we do have so as you see over here we have our if we have our turning tool as you can see and then we can retrieve the tool to our machine and I'll just drop this operation to the turning tool 3D and we need to change the work plane inside the tool to make it work so let's go ahead and do that So under the more option inside the tool uh, dialog box we have to change the work coordinate system to the operation let's click ok to this and let's generate this and see okay let's go ahead and simulate this So using these uh, predefined templates, it will make uh, the creation process much faster. So I would recommend you to give it a try and see. Um, you will definitely uh, save a lot of time uh, with this. All right, as you can see, uh, the, the simulation now uh, reflects the full 3D tool exactly as we uh, defined. So that's the full workflow from aligning the tool to uh, you know defining the um, assembly uh, and running it through simulation so i hope this gave you a clear picture of how to uh, bring your solid turning tools into an xcam and why it's worth the effort um, so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask now or maybe when you if you'd like to build your own tool library if you have any questions at the time please do reach out and thanks again for joining today's session i hope you find it useful